Welcome to Seabright, just outside of Aurelia. I've done a lot of things to open the shows before, but I've never done something like this, canoeing with the artist. This is Gaia Orion, she's sitting right in front of me. She is a really talented lady. She's done ex exhibitions all over the world. She's traveled, she's a uh, fine artist. She's a motivational speaker. She does all sorts of different things. So we're gonna hear about her exhibition coming up in Colorado. Maybe she's gonna do a little workshop with me, but you've gotta see some of the stuff that she does. I can't wait to talk with her more, but uh, looks like we're, we're going for a little swim. So roll the music. Let's, let, we'll catch up with you in a bit. I'm back on uh, Gaia Orion's porch. Good to have you on the show again, Gaia. And uh, we survived our little uh, canoeing exhibition there. We, uh, there, was a death, there was a deathly fear that we were gonna fall in at some point, but thankfully we're still standing here and we're our dry as day. Gaia is an entrepreneur, she's an artist, she's a world traveler, she speaks out on social issues, and she's a returning artist on the show. Jason, do we happen to have the footage? Do we, oh, oh yeah, there she is, yeah. Remember back in the day in the studio, the sit down interview two years ago, uh, all the times. It feels like just yesterday that we were we were back in Collingwood during season one of Art Happens, and we're actually at your home studio, I take it, so this is where you live. This is, like, this is such an amazing view. Like, it, it's, it must be so quiet here. It allows you to get lots of work done? Uh, yeah, actually, I have three kids, but they went to university okay. in September, so it's been uh, really quiet, and I really love it. It's so peaceful here. It must be. It must be such a change from from all, all your all your different excursions <laughs> around the world. Gaia is a world traveler, as I mentioned earlier, and and it's really amazing. We could probably list off all the places that you've been. Jason, can we do that? Okay, okay, here we go. So, Gaia, where have you been? I grew up in Africa, I lived in Paris, I traveled, uh, met my husband in Morocco, we got engaged in Guatemala, and we've traveled with our kids to Thailand, Cambodia, Mexico, uh, France, of course, and um, I've exhibited with my art in New York, San Francisco, Mexico, soon in Colombia, in Spain, in Germany, Hungary, Bali. Uh, that's about it. And. Uh... Where I have traveled, um, the Cayman Islands, British Columbia, and uh, New York. Well, that's pretty good. So, my, I imagine my screen is very, very empty in comparison to guys right now, right, Jason? Oh my God! And what's your favorite part about going around to all of these different places? I think traveling is really, really important. It gives you a new perspective of your life every time you leave your little comfortable place. And uh, for me, it's definitely a source of inspiration. I think also traveling is really important thing to have nowadays just because we need to understand that no matter like where culture you come from we're all human beings that yeah. just want to be happy yeah. and give, it really gives you that perspective. I wish we had time to, to study each painting of yours and each work of yours in depth but you'll see some stuff come up on the screen now. Oh, is there a general theme to, to the work you do? Is there like a central message that you try to include in everything? What, is there a story behind any of that? Yeah, well, I think like the center, and it's beautiful that you're able to come to my house because th this is it, the intelligence, the symmetry, the beauty, the harmony. I think you find that in my paintings. Yeah. And it's yeah. the foundation of my life, which I bring into my own every day. Do you do workshops as well? I do art workshops okay. and they're all about exploring our lives and how uh, like art is just really a magical tool when you start when you go back to your pencil crayon when you were a kid yeah. and then you just touch the crayons that. trying to cut color in the lines yeah and all that so stuff. it just touches that innocence when you were um, a childlike when you were joyful when you were spontaneous when you were not like judging oh this has to be good no you were just doing it so that's doing what I do in my do, work doing though. it to express yourself. Mm -hmm. Not worrying about coloring in the lines, if you will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, was, I was bad for that. So I'm showing at the Integral Center in Boulder, Colorado. And that starts September 28th, I believe. That's the opening night, yeah. So uh, anyone in Colorado who's watching, <laughs> yeah. September 28th, mark the date. You'll want to see some of her stuff. And then you're headed to Paris afterwards. 
Um, so in Paris, I'll be doing an exhibition on the theme of women. It's, a, okay. it's called Her Journey, okay. How Women Can Change the World. Oh, very cool, very, very cool. Uh, Guy is also a, a, an advocate for social change. She does, um, she does talks on, on society and, and advocates some, some social change. What sort of messages do you like to spread in that regard? Well, I love the quote from Gandhi that says, you, want, you have to be the change you right. want to see in the right. world. So my talk on social change is actually not about social change, it's about personal change. Okay. Because a global societal change will not happen until we, each of one of right. us, transform our own lives. Like if you wake up in the morning and feel like miserable, what kind yes. of positive impact you're going yes. to have in the world. For so sure. no For point sure. talking about societal change if you don't start. Yeah, right I mean, there. It all it all starts with it all starts with you, as I like to say. Now, one one final question. I've always wanted to go to Paris. Can I come with you? Yeah, you can. I'll fit you in my suitcase. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll just I'll just I'll shrink down and. We're inside Gaia Orion's studio now, and um, she's got a little bit of a workshop set up for me here, and I'm interested to see what. Um, she's gonna do with me. You, you remember, you might remember last feature. I, I tried to do an illustration of another guy's face. So this is, looks a little bit different, but we're gonna see if I can stumble through this. So what's what are what are we doing here today? What's what's this workshop all about? So I'm gonna make you do a little meditation first, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll ring the bowl. Just close your eyes. And take a deep breath. You want you to feel it inside your heart. Feel like you have um, sunshine, bright, warm feeling. And make this ball of light expand a little bit bigger. Now you can't stop it. It's just expanding, expanding. Now I'm going to guide you when you open your eyes. I'm, when I ring the bell, you're going to open your eyes. I'm going to bring that feeling from your heart to your tip of your fingers. Trust that it knows what to do. You don't have to do anything. You have to let it happen. Do you meditate every time uh, you, you're getting set to, to do a painting or a drawing or to reset yourself? No, but I, I do meditate every day. So, you know, that's kind of sets uh, the ground for the rest of the day and my life in general. It's like creativity is important in any area of your life. Yeah. If you have a business, yeah, you're know, a business yeah, person, our, you need yeah. to be to to check out solutions. Yeah, <laughs> our school, our school knows our slogan is hashtag be creative. So, uh -huh. so yeah, we yeah. all ever we, we 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 know that being cre being creative uh, take it takes some time, but it also takes the right mindset too. You got to be creative in in everything that we do, and that's what we strive for. So. Mm -hmm. How does this feel so far? I, I'm no artist by any means in the in the fine art world, but I, I'm just kind of going with the flow here. Where all these different colors represent all all different strands of people, all different walks of life. But you know, at the end, we're all one. We're all one being. We're all humans, and that's what that orange. We're all interconnected. No matter what color we are, no matter what expression expressions we have, no matter what gender or race or, or anything like that. You know, we're all we're all just humans, and I and I I, I, I toyed with the idea of. Just having that interconnectivity with everything. It felt like I was actually kind of drawing a river. Okay. A river there. And it's river and also it felt like a sort of like the flow of creativity. Like, you know, kind of like come from above and, and I end up having this sort of, um, you know, um, it's like the eye or... Yeah. The, I was going to say, it looks like our canoe in the, in the river. Oh, yeah, my <laughs> gosh, I didn't see that. Yeah, it looks like That's our canoe amazing. when we were in the river. Well, thanks, thanks so much for walking me through, walking me through your process. It was, it was really, really neat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this, I'm gonna, I'll keep this somewhere safe, and, I'll, and it, was really, it was really interesting seeing your creative process behind, mm. behind all the art. So thanks, thanks for doing that. It was really, really neat. Today was an exciting day, wasn't it? We saw a pretty butterfly. You almost saw me fall into the water when I was canoeing. We talked to Guy Orion, saw what she's been up to. We learned about what she's going to be up to in the next few months. And we did some drawings too. Hey, make sure you took what we said during those drawings to heart. Everyone is creative. Take at least one opportunity per day to express yourself and be creative. I promise it will change your life. Being creative is the best thing you can possibly do for yourself. 
Now, for more information about Gaia and her art, visit all of her social pages that are showing up below. She's got Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Google+, whatever you can think of, she's got it. So check her out below, make sure you stay tuned to see what's coming up. And of course, for more Art Happens features, and to get your feature today, visit us on Facebook at Art Happens TV or on our website, www.arthappens.tv. I would love to come see what you've got going on in your area. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take that drawing and I'm gonna go see if I can continue to express myself through the fine art. See you later. Well, that wraps up my adventure out here in Seabridge. Is it Seabridge? Seabright? Ugh! Everyone is creative and, and uh, critical focus, bitch. Focus check. Different social page, pages that are best. Mm. Just put the, the Newlands music behind it. The last one was so good, why did you have to do this to me?